All right, so this is the new Xbox dashboard. I thought I'd do a little overview of it. Since it just came out today, people might be interested in seeing what it looks like if they uh, haven't updated yet. And this is my first uh, look at it. Yeah, so obviously quite a bit different style than uh, the previous Xbox dashboards. I think it's important to note that when you hit the guide button, you still have this very basic menu, which is probably what 95% of people are going to be using to actually get to important stuff. Like, you know, if you want to quickly get to your friends list, it's all there still. Um, if you want to get to the settings or whatever, you can do all that. Media, like quick launch stuff, uh, you, you know, achievements, all that kind of stuff. It's still right there from the guide. So for people who don't want to deal with a new Xbox dashboard, I mean, like they, they've had this menu be the exact same for a while. Pretty much the same. Like, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, they have this new beacons and activity thing, which I guess I can start talking about now. Uh, beacons are a way for you to, um, like, mark a game, and uh, someone else can message you saying, oh, I want to play that game with mm. you. So you can be doing something else on your Xbox while you have this beacon to play Saints Row Co-op up. Mm. And then someone else can... So right now I'll set a beacon for... Uh, let's just do Skyrim because it's single player. And I can share to social networks that I've connected. And I did. Uh, I, I set up Twitter and all that on see, this because it's completely... You know what this says to me right there? So the comment is, I want to play this game with friends. See, most people see share to social networks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see... Annoy people in your social networks. Oh, it says share your beacon on Facebook to let your friends know that you want to play. I haven't even connected to Facebook. Well, let's see what happens. Beacon set, bacon set for Skyrim. Oh, share on Facebook. I haven't signed in. No. Okay. I want to play this game with friends. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, beacons are fucking stupid, and I'll probably never use it. Um... What I do think is kind of interesting is the friends activity. You can see the top played games on your friends list. And they're sorted oh, by, you know, most... That's cool. Yeah, so 25 of my, you know, 100 friends, or 29, if I could read, have played Modern Warfare, 16 for Skyrim and Battlefield, 15 for Gears, wow. and 10 for Elite, Modern Warfare 2, and this keeps on going down. So... Yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool way to just quickly see, like, oh, yeah, everybody's like playing Modern Warfare. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we got cloud saves now, if you're an Xbox Live Gold member. Oh, wow. So, I basically... Like that's surprising that I haven't read anything about that. It's a pretty big feature, I'd yeah. say. So, basically, what happens is when you... Like, in, any, anytime you turn on an Xbox game, you have to select the storage device at the very beginning. Uh -huh. And you can just choose cloud saves. You get like 500 megs of storage in the cloud save. So instead of choosing a hard drive or a memory unit, you just choose cloud save. Oh. And it's not, a, and it's not like <clears throat> it's a backup. I mean, it, it is a backup. Mm -hmm. But you can, you know, typically when, when I first looked at this, I thought I was like, okay, well, I have my hard drive save of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. I can back it up to the cloud. Mm -hmm. But you can just choose cloud Mm -hmm. And have that be like your only, the only place you save it. And yeah. then you can move between Xboxes. Uh, you just have to have the internet or you're screwed. Right, exactly. <laughs> but like I, anytime you play on more than one console, I feel like the, the recovery time for a gamer profile oh, it takes forever. Takes fucking forever. So how would this be helpful? Um, I guess if you have a, an arcade unit. Mm -hmm. It gives you an extra half a gig. Yeah, that's true. But again, it's Xbox Live Gold only, so you're mm. paying you know forty bucks or whatever it is a year. But you ha that. the thing with Gold is you have to have it if you want to do anything like right. Netflix, play online. <clears throat> so, uh, like right now, I guess most of these things are all informative things, but there are also a lot of ads. Obviously, mm. like in the bottom right corner of every little tab up here is an ad. Um, so when you go to the videos tab, add down there for football. Uh, football. <laughs> um, you know the games. It's been yeah. They've had a, this Chuck Norris. Oh wow. Wow. Ad. So when you put your cursor over it, 
it starts to play the sound automatically. You don't oh. have to click it. Yeah, it's weird having a World of Warcraft ad, I thought, on yeah. the Xbox. Um, anyway, and I also don't like how the games tab is the third tab. Like, it starts on home by default. Oh, social should not be number two. No, and video should not be in front of games, but no. I guarantee they make a lot of money off of video. Yeah. So they want to have that up there instead. Um, music. Wait, isn't stupid. this a gaming console? <laughs> right, yeah. Um, apps, you can download a bunch of different apps, and I'll go through some of these in a second, and then obviously settings and all that. Um, one thing, so you just downloaded the, um, <clears throat> what's it called? iOS. The iOS Xbox Live app. Yeah. And one thing that I really liked about that, and you'll make a video of that soon as well, um, is that it, it really improves the way you can kind of browse through the achievements you've earned and have yet to earn in a lot of different games. Mm -hmm. And I actually like what they did right here through browsing a lot of these achievements. Like, I can see, I've completed, of all the games I've played, I've 100% in six of them. Mm -hmm. which, which I'm pretty sure they didn't have this filter before, and you can see it's, you know, a couple. Teenage Mutant Ninja yeah. Turtles. And Call of Duty Two, that was no easy game. <laughs> but thirteen achievements. Yeah, I mean, it was a launch. Wow. title. it was a launch title. It was I think Madden it was just had eleven. Every, yeah, this uh, Madden. I remember it was it was like one of the super easy ones. You had to like, get, simulate thirty seasons, and you would just get everything. <laughs> you could so like, you just, do like, it in one game. No, 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 no. Like you, you had to simulate every season. Yeah, like up to 30 successfully oh. played 30 years of franchise mode so i was just like read a book and hit all right start next season <laughs> go 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 um but anyway um so i i like this new easy way to look through it but when you click on a game it still has the old way of browsing it which i think is kind of slow yeah and i really like the way that they had it on your ipad yeah um with like the text below each icon and you could quickly scan through a whole bunch of text to mm -hmm. kind of see what you're missing um and again, when you're not on the completed games thing, when you go into Skyrim or something, uh, it's the old way of looking at it. So that really didn't change, which is kind of disappointing because they actually did a really good job making this look interesting. Um, different themes. I don't have any. Uh, let's see. Let's go into some of the different apps, I guess. Oh, we can watch Mr. Pooper's Peepers. <laughs> So fun. Uh, let's see. Netflix app? Apparently. Now, I did you use Netflix on the Xbox before? I have. So you'll know if this is an updated interface? No. I've been using so many other versions yes. since then. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure that this is an updated version of the Netflix interface. Uh-huh. Um, Makes it really easy to just kind of browse through a whole bunch of stuff. They have the full search functionality. That's nice. Uh, so you can just, you know, type Oh, that's in. definitely new. Like that yeah. that tiered thing going backwards. Mm -hmm. I've never seen and that like, before. Uh, you want to find SpongeBob SquarePants, you just type in the first couple letters and then... And if you have a connect, right you could probably tell it, right? Yeah, I think so, actually. Oh, I'll have to show the Bing search when I'm done with all Bing. this as well. Um <clears throat> and apparently one of the complaints I've been reading about this new Netflix is that when you choose a... Oh, you didn't hit the heat. Um, anyway, when you choose a TV show, uh, it automatically starts playing the first episode. Uh-huh. Oh, which... And, but to do more episodes, they make it really easy to kind of like jump between season two, season three, and find, you know, get to where you need to go. Yeah, and uh, and the quality, we, and the quality on all these Netflix things, they kind of suck for a second, and then it gets. Sometimes it gets better. Like you can see right there, it was kind of pixelated for a second. I don't want to show too much before the video gets ripped for copyright shit. But yeah, I mean, it works well. It's not always an HD. It, it says HD with 5.1 surround, but it depends on your connection. It depends on your connection, 100. percent Like at the very beginning of that video, there's no way. No. That like it was so pixelated, you can. There's no fucking way it was. Look how much good stuff is on there. I know. The League, Walking Dead, Never Heard of Terriers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, this is kind of interesting. When you leave it selected for a second, it changes the icon. 
That's weird. There's something that's not like the official. I kind of like it. It's weird, it's though. Like, what's the league going to be? The Shiva Trophy? It is the Shiva Trophy! <laughs> no fucking way! Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, office is going to be Dwight. Except it's on the side. No, nope. Michael Scott and Oscar. What about Futurama? Bender. Uh, Bender. Oh, no, Hermes. Limbo. <laughs> Doing his little limbo competition. All right, family guy. Peter, it's Wiener. <laughs> Peter's Wiener, just like a big black Wiener. <laughs> All right, oh, this is going to be Rick James, bitch. <laughs> I'm Chuck Taylor. South Park, it's going to be Tire Butters. Man. Oh, they're playing the, uh, nin- oh, what, what is it called? The games, uh, the uh, the Nintendo Game Sphere, or what? Something Game Sphere. It's a something Game Sphere. And then that's the one with Tally. And what about Mad Men? Don, cheating on his wife. Wow, that's a pretty obscure screen grab. Hmm. Anyway, enough playing that game. <laughs> I could play that game for a while. That's actually kind of fun. No, let's do... God, there's so many good shows on there. Yep. Uh, let's take a look at the ESPN app. Oh, I should have... Um... Do you know what Epix is? No. Because I tried to pull it up before and it wasn't working. Never like, heard I, of I downloaded it. I haven't heard of it either. And Like I downloaded it, installed, and then it said there's like a... Uh, earlier today there was a whole bunch of server errors getting all this stuff installed so it is, seems to be uh, working for the most part now. Is HBO Go a choice? Not yet. That's in the coming soon tab. Okay. It is listed but you click it and just nothing happens. <clears throat> so ESPN app is basically ESPN3. Uh, if you've used ESPN3 It'll have some live sporting events. Um, if and you, it, it, this also has like a bunch of clips from Sports Center and stuff like that, and like a little news ticker. Um, it's not like a full featured ESPN though. Like you're not going to be able to watch uh, Monday Night Football or something like that on here. What about? Is there anything where like if you have like Xfinity mm-hmm. login, mm-hmm. you can like prove that you pay for these channels, time. you know, and then watch it. F- because you can do that through your iPad. I'm pretty sure you can watch ESPN through your iPad. Well, here's the th- Like, if you prove you're a subscriber. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I know that if you go to ESPN3.com, like, we don't have... Like, when we're at our house, because we pay for Comcast, we don't have to type anything into ESPN3.com to get the full functionality of the website. If we went to McDonald's and we're using the Wi-Fi there, mm-hmm. you could log in. Mm. But it just automatically detects this right now. Like, I didn't have to type in anything, and I'm pretty sure you have to have some special access for it. And, like, so they're doing, like, a fantasy football thing now. Let's hold the full guide. Maybe I should watch that. Um, (laughs) So, like, you know, there's some ESPN Live stuff. Colorado State. Yeah, they're playing Duke today. They're going to get absolutely slaughtered by Duke today. Um... You know, they have, like, a lot of different stupid little clips. Sandusky. Yeah, Sandusky is molesting more kids. You know, Pujols uh, contract talks coming up today. Um, this is kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's not nearly as good as, like, watching Sports Center, but, you know, it works. You don't have Sports Center. Um, <laughs> you can set some favorite teams. So I set the Denver Broncos as a favorite team. And it's all It's Tebow. all fucking Tebow. Tebow, Tebow, Tebow. Von Miller. Let's watch something about Von Miller, because he's going to get the Defensive Player of the Year if he stays healthy. All right, and we're going to get in trouble. We didn't have the yeah. expressed written yeah. permission. <laughs> that is true. Uh, we only had <laughs> oral implied <laughs> consent. Yeah. <laughs> implied oral consent. So, anyway, uh, that's what... How do I quit? So yeah, it's a bunch of just, I don't know, it's it's okay. It's probably better than navigating the ESPN.com website if you're just looking for random clips. For video? Yeah, if you're just, you know, screwing around, kind of bored, you can kill some time looking through that. Uh, what other apps? How much is there? a movie? Or, and do you rent it or do you buy it? I have no idea and I don't care to find out, honestly. Uh, okay, well, I, I, I want to go look. through a couple other big features. So Bing Search. Um, Xbox Search. Something, but we don't have Connect, oh, right. so we can't do that. Maybe so should... this is like the exact same search layout that the Netflix had. If you just start typing in letters, it starts to bring up stuff that's available. And um, I 
Netflix? Will it tell you if it's on Netflix? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know. Is Archer on Netflix? Season one is. So let's find out. What's this going to make me do? Is it going to ask me to buy it? Oh, hey. hey! That's actually really cool. I actually really like that, that they don't just only have the... They actually index the Netflix So let's see what library. happens if I just click Netflix. Is it just going to go straight to the episode? That's really cool, actually. Hey, look at that. Well, I mean, it's firing up the app. Yeah, that's, that's a start. start. <laughs> hey, we got a bowl of popcorn right here. <laughs> Again, dude, we can't show the whole video or else we're going to get the video pulled for copyright. Oh. Um. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Dial M for mother. Awesome. Wow, that's really cool. That's really cool. All right, um, I'm impressed by that. Um, so that's Bing Search. The, you know, the only thing that I don't like about it is the inherent, it has to exist. Like, you know, when you search Google, mm -hmm. or if you search Bing.com, yeah. you know that you're, like, you're searching the whole web. Mm -hmm. If Archer didn't exist on one of the Xbox applicable video streaming services, mm -hmm. Archer wouldn't be a suggested thing. And you're like, am I typing the right thing? Or like, you oh. know, you know, sometimes it'll be like the in front of the name of a show. Like you wish it had a browser. So here's what I'm gonna do. The Simpsons aren't gonna be available anywhere. Like they're not available to stream anywhere on the internet. Like you have to buy those DVDs. So Simpsons. It's gonna have the Simpsons game, Simpsons movie. Season twenty two. Treehouse of Horror Collection. So it has a bunch of things, but it's not like you know, uh, well, like, where's the show? I just want to see the show. Season 22. Season, yeah, I don't want to see season, anything <laughs> past season 10. Thank you very much. Treehouse of Horror Collection. <gasps> season, what? You were wrong, John. What? Uh, Click one. Lisa's Substitute with Dustin Hoffman. Zune Purchase. So let's, let's see how much that is. Free app is installed. Oh. Uh, this could take a while. Uh, that's not too bad. It's faster than the ESPN app. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it took... It's a lot faster than the uh, PlayStation updates that happen every fucking time we turn that system on. Every time mm -hmm. I turn on the PlayStation, mm -hmm. there's an update for either the OS mm -hmm. or the, then I'll be going to Netflix and mm -hmm. there'll be a Netflix update. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I wonder if I can use my Microsoft points on this. Oh, I'm sure you can. I hope so, because I thought they talked a long time ago about switching over from Microsoft points to real money. They did. And they, they said they were going to do it. And I still have. They Microsoft backed points. out. They, they found that tricking people. So, standard 160. So, what does that come out to? $2? Yeah. For an episode? Yeah. That's pretty expensive. No, she didn't say it. But you can tell, right? She looks <laughs> oh, God, I just want to watch it. I got to leave it, though. Um, so, anyway, you, you see my kind of point, though. Like, it's not a perfect search engine. Like, I had to click season 22 to get to season 2. And, like, not yeah. all the seasons are listed. Like, the yeah. fact that, like, it's not, yeah, you know, it's, it's not Google mm -mm. Where, or even Bing.com. It's only searching things that are existing. So, you're going to, I can just see it running into that problem where you, you're typing something in and you're hey, not doing it search, right. Search um, Borat or Bruno. Bruno. I wanted to watch one of those really bad the other day. It's like, but I thought I had it on DVD, but I don't. Bruno. You need the umlaut <laughs> for the O. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Search for Bruno. Just start search for Bruno, I guess. Oh. That's the first thing. See, I needed the umlaut. Or did I? It's or no, I guess I could have just clicked the, the thing. Oh, downfall? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Have you seen like all those hundreds of YouTube clips where they like re-subtitled oh. the absolute crazy Hitler rant? Yeah, that's, that's this movie. We'll be talking about a new iPad yeah, or like, like a new Canon camera. <laughs> and like Hitler like has this breakdown. He's like, everybody out <laughs> to the room who is not involved with this. And then he just goes like <laughs> Awesome Hitler impression, by the way. That's that movie. 
So let's see how much Borat or Bruno is. Oh, and it's got the Metacritic score. Fifty-four. That's a good. That's a good <laughs> rating. For a movie that's made to offend. Mm-hmm. For a movie that has a penis swirling <laughs> through the screen. A penis. Uh, Whoa. That's fucked. Twelve hundred. Now that's you get to fi- keep that. I think that's fifteen dollars. Is that yours then? I think Forever. so. It you says purchase. It, it says purchase, okay. not rent. So I would assume that means. So that's not that. To have, if it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's not that expensive. So let's see. Purchase. Um, can't be screened. Can't be streamed or downloaded from the end of the year. Oh, the end of next year. To make sure you get it, download before then. Stream instantly or choose to download later. Oh, download so you have to download it by... So it's not yours forever. Oh, and it has to be on your hard drive. And it's 1080p. And it streams as a download. So if I click to confirm... Well, that's not too bad. 1080p is not bad. But that's why it's not just strictly streaming. So they... So basically, after a year... Uh-huh. It's not. It's gone. Your download limit is up. So if you get a new hard drive or something, which or a hard drive fails, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gone. That's kind of whack. Yeah, I don't like that. Everything else about it seems fine. Yeah, I think ten service. bucks would be a good price to buy it. Yeah, I'm too cheap. Um, let's see, so I showed Netflix, showed Twitter, I guess. Cause it's fucking stupid. <laughs> um, social apps. Twitter on this is completely worthless. Because what percentage of tweets have a link in them? A good percentage. A really good percentage. Like at least twenty five percent. Yeah. Really. So you know, I click this, and I can't click the link to the story about Tebow getting oh. in a. <laughs> So it's, unless you care about people's opinion, it's right. worthless. Yeah. So in, unless I'm only like Watch reading, this hilarious video. Uh, you know, stupid one-liners from Drunk Hulk, then, uh, or Rob Delaney. But even then, yeah, I don't know. It's it's stupid. Um, like it's better on my phone than it is on this. Yeah. Which is impressive. But there's no web browser on this, so I guess it can't be any better. Um, that's yeah. right. When are they going to put a web browser in? So, probably never. Uh, until they can make it connect accessible, then they'll do it in a heartbeat <laughs> and find a way to sell a web browser through that. When, when's Microsoft going to make a good web browser while we're on the topic? Let alone... Never. Never. I mean, they make Internet Explorer. Give me a fucking break. They can't even make a PC web browser that's respectable. Imagine how shitty it'd be on the Xbox. <laughs> anyway... Uh, yeah, I think that's those are all the main features that are new. I think it's pretty uh, pretty decent update. Yeah, I think so too, actually. I'm kind of reevaluating my initial hatred for it. And, you know, uh, one thing that I didn't like about the old one that, I, that they fixed here is that even though games is three tabs over, on the home screen, it's got my game that's thing the right machine. there. Yep, yeah. it's got Skyrim right there, and it's got Quick Play that I can jump to and see all my installed apps and demos and... Uh, you know, if I had more arcade games on this downloaded on this box, I could pull them up right there. So, you know, they they actually do. I think they do make it easier to quickly access your stuff uh, than previously. Yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching, and uh, you'll be putting out a iOS probably video soon. Cool. All right. Game on.